Now, this is not our first soda stream. We had a soda stream even when the kids were young because we were hoping to save money. But in our experience, we never got as many bottles of the water seltzered as they promise on the label. And that is why you do not save money with a soda stream. I'm Rachel and I'm Joe and we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos and if you're new to our channel welcome here on two crazy ketos we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews we talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on keto beyond the couch because life exists beyond the couch you can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook Instagram and Twitter and we have a website which is two crazy and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we drill into something brand new, you'll be alerted to it. So a while back, we made a video on how to modify a soda stream. So, I'll leave that up here. So why are we doing this again? Well, because if you remember, it was actually this soda stream right here that we modified. Yes. And if you remember back then, we talked about how there is the old version, which is this one, and then there was a new version, and you could not modify the new version. Right. Well, guess what? You can now modify the new version, and today, we're going to show you how. Give us a quick reminder. Why is it that you would even want to modify this product? Because you can make seltzer water with the soda stream just right out of the box. Okay, this is a soda stream. A soda stream makes soda or right. seltzer water, which is what we use it for. We use it mostly for seltzer water. Occasionally we make our own soda. I like having the ability to make our own seltzer at home because it's convenient and also it's less waste on plastic bottles. If you go to the store, you buy those plastic bottles, you throw them out, it's it's wasteful. It's also a conveyance for the Dr. Berry Daily Mineral Drops. I mean, let's face it, that stuff don't taste great, but nope. I can hide it inside of the seltzer water and it just tastes like San Pellegrino to me. Yeah, now here's the thing. A soda stream can be expensive. The average soda stream is gonna cost you between 100 to $200 depending on which model you get and what accessories it comes with. And there's a little bit of fibbing going on by the company. Yeah. Okay. So when you buy, now again, this is the old one. We're going to get into the new one in a minute. When you buy the, a soda stream, it comes with the machine. It generally comes with a couple of plastic reusable bottles, which is what makes it nice. And then it comes with one or maybe two of these. This is the CO2. You get this and then you use it and then you take it to a store or you make a deal with them where they, you mail them the old one and they mail you back a new one and you pay a discounted price for refilling this. So if you buy a brand new one of these, you need to have at least two because what happens if you run low? So you right. have to have at least two. They're $32 and then when you want to exchange them, by the time you add in tax, they're about 18 bucks. First problem with that is a lot of the stores by us never have it in stock for the exchange. You can do a mail-in with the company, but they charge you shipping unless you mail them four of them. So now you have to own at least five because you're gonna mail in four and you need to have one while you're waiting for the new four ones to come in. Now this is not our first soda stream. We had a soda stream even when the kids were young because we were hoping to save money. But in our experience, we never got as many bottles of the water seltzered as they promise on the label. And that is why you do not save money with a soda stream. You do on paper, but you don't in reality. Right. And here's why. They say this cartridge will do 60 liters. So these bottles, there's two of them here. We actually have another one right over there. So 60 of these. That's what they say. In our experience and a lot of other people's experience, using the soda stream on the lowest fizz level, you get maybe 20. And usually the last couple aren't very fizzy. You know. That that is just our experience. Now, other people may vary, but we owned one years ago. We got rid of it because it was literally costing us more money 
than buying seltzer water in the store. As a matter of fact, I even, I shouldn't say this, figured out how to hack it by cracking open the top, dropping in dry ice, weighing it out because dry ice, when it becomes a gas, becomes carbon dioxide. We've tried and that everything. was a pain. We've tried everything. If it actually gave you 60 liters, you would save money. But in my experience, again, you get about 20, maybe even less. If you base it on, you get 20 fills out of this. On the refill price, not the original $31, just on the refill, that works out to be 90 cents a liter. Well, you can go to Walmart and you can buy a one liter bottle of seltzer water, either plain or flavored, for 92 cents. Right. So you're breaking even at best and you still have to figure out the fact that you have money invested in the machine. That's where we're gonna get into hacking it. So you ready? Yes. So let's talk about the differences. So this is the old machine. The old machine uses this blue bottle. So we have the brand new dun, 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 dun. Soda Stream e -Terra. So what is the difference between this one and the old one? Um, this one uses these pink bottles. The pink one. So when we did the first video, you did have the Terra out there, which used the pink bottles. That's one we said you cannot use. We actually bought it and then had to return it. The old one was called the Fizzy. And then you had the Fizzy One Touch, which was the electric version. This is the electric version of the Terra. I like the electric version because you press one button, it makes all your fizzies. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. We bought this on Black Friday. Hello. Uh, it was a great deal. It was like $129. And here's what it came with. It came with the E-Terra. It came with an extra one of these, which we're just gonna save for emergencies. It came with these bottles. And then it also came with some like bubbly. flavoring for bubbly. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to modify this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up and push for better. <laughs> we're going to see what's inside of this. So we got instructions. What's in the box? What's in the box? We've got a power cord. Okay. I've got the power. We've got a bottle. Oh, nice. Now, the cool thing about these bottles is you can buy lots of extra bottles. We probably have about 20 of them, and you can use the old ones, which are cheaper than the new ones. Some of the old ones are dishwasher safe, some of them aren't. Now, our dishwasher, you can put them all in because we don't have that heating element. You don't have right. that heating element anymore that warps the bottles. Um, but you can use either bottle with the newer machines. The older machines, you can't use those newer bottles. Okay, so what else we have? So we have another CO2 cartridge because it comes with one. The, the deal on Black Friday gave you two. And then we have... The unit itself. Our unit. This is the Fizzy One Touch. Very or no, sleek. this is the Terra E. I, I like it. It's slimmer. It's very, like, aerodynamic. Okay, you ready to modify this? Yeah. Okay, modifying this. Poor thing, it's just coming out of the box. Brand new, we're, we're gonna, gonna mess it up. It reminds it me it. of when I was like a young whippersnapper in high school and college, I'd buy a new car and I'd rip out the dashboard to put a new radio in. Did that. you just say whippersnapper? I did. Here's what you need. In order to modify this, you need a wrench. Okay. Okay, this one is a one and one eighth open inch, inch wrench, an open end inch wrench. A one and one eighth inch open end wrench. There we go. We'll get it. Um, or you can use a pair of pliers, whatever. We need an adapter. I'm gonna leave a link for this adapter down below. You need to get the right adapter because there's two adapters. There was the adapter for the Terra model and there's the adapter for the old model. So I have the old model right here. We'll push this off to the side. Show you the difference. The old model this goes onto a CO2 bottle. This goes up in the machine. The new model, it does come with like some extra washers. This goes onto your CO2 bottle and this goes into the machine. See the difference? See this one it screws in. Very this one different. just is a quick tip. So you have to have the new one. I will leave a link for the right one down below. There's a couple of different ones out there. The one I'm gonna leave you is the one that will absolutely work. You do need one other thing. Okay. We need CO2. Now, where do you get this from? Okay. So you can go to a local store and buy the CO2 canister, or you can buy it on Amazon. When you buy it on Amazon, it's going to come empty. Right. Cause they can't ship it like they that. They can't ship it full. So this is a five pound CO2 canister 
and uh, you're gonna pay anywhere between 80 to about $100 for this, but it's refillable. So what? where are you gonna refill it? You're gonna refill this by going to a local beer and wine store, or you can even refill it at like Dick's Sporting Goods or something. Any place that sells paintball canisters can fill this. Nice. Now, you can get old paintball canisters, but here's my recommendation. Get the food grade. Get get a brand new one. You're going to spend $20 or $30 extra, but you are carbonating your water with it. So get, get the brand new one. I got this from our local beer and wine store. Any place that has like, you know, beer, like kegs that you can rent out, they're going to have them. I paid a hundred bucks, included the first fill, and then every fill after that, um, they're $18 for a fill. Now, this is equal to, let me have that pink one, just to give you an idea. It is equal to five and a half of these. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. $18 to fill this or $18 to fill this. Now, your store may charge a little bit more, a little bit less. I've heard people spending as little as $10 to fill it and as much as $25. But again, five and a half of these fits in this. If you base it on roughly 20 bucks, that means that now, instead of 92 cents to fill your bottle, it's about 20 cents to fill your bottle. Nice. Now, you're saving money. Yeah, that's a deal. Okay, here's what we need to do. We're gonna take our machine. We're gonna take off the back cover. Oh, I feel so sad for this thing. Okay, this cover just snaps off like this. Normally what you would do is you would take your thing and you'd put it in here. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hose. We're gonna lift up this little piece here. We're gonna drop our adapter in. There's a little place right here where it slides up, see that little yellow place? So we put this in here, push, and go down like that. Now it thinks there's a bottle in there. Now, your soda stream's modified. Wow. That's it, that's all you have to do. So let's repeat the steps, but have Rachel do it. Cause this is so easy, even Rachel can hardware store this. Okay. Okay. Dun da da da! I'm handy. <laughs> now, you do have this back cover. You can do a couple things. You can just leave the cover off. Yeah. Or you can drill a hole and run the hose through it, which we will do that in a minute. In the meantime, let's go ahead and hook it up. This is the last step. It does come with this little white washer. You want to make sure there is a washer in here. It goes right there. That goes there. You're gonna put this on like this, grab your wrench, and just tighten it. Boom. So before we turn this on, we're gonna go ahead and attach the power cord, and there is a place right here. So what you do is you put it there, and then you just kinda of run it around the back up into this little slot. What we wanna do is we're gonna turn this on. That's gonna charge up your system. I have over here a little bit of Windex. You can also use some soapy water. What we wanna do is just spray a little bit of Windex here after we charge it and see if there's any bubbles. So again, Windex, soapy water, and if there's bubbles, we just tighten it up, okay? And you don't even have to turn it on all the way. Then we just spray that, we look, no bubbles, and we're good. Now that it's all charged up, we can go ahead and make a seltzer water. So we're gonna take this here we put it up in here, and you like it like in the middle. I like the number two button. Ooh, this one's quieter than the old machine. It is, plus it's lighting up really cute. Ooh, it's all lighty. All right, it's done. Yep. That's it. Now let's go ahead and just with the Terra machine, make sure the old bottles work because I do have a lot of the old bottles. It does work. Perfect. Okay, we're all done. Now, honestly, what we like to do is we actually fill all the bottles up with water. We put them in the refrigerator to keep them nice and cold. And then when we wanna have fizzy water, we just run over to the machine. Do it right then. And fizzy it up.
So I did wanna show you real quick how you can clean up your insulation and put the back cover back on. And again, you do not have to do this if you don't mind not having the back cover on. So what's really nice about this setup you get, it's got a quick connect. So we just simply go like this and we pull that off like that. And this makes it super, super easy. So if you ever had a problem with your hose or anything like that, you already have your adapter. So what we're gonna do is you have, this is the top, this is the bottom. Since everything goes into the top, I'm gonna put it right up here on the top and I'm just gonna take a drill and I'm gonna drill a hole. So we got our hole. Now we can run this through, put this back on, and then we can install it back into the machine. So why don't you go ahead and reinstall this? Look at me being all handy. And then the bottom just goes in like this. And we can put our CO2 canister back on. Okay, so you may be curious as to what you could add to the seltzer water to make it even more fun or useful, because we want it to be useful as well. Don't add anything until you've turned it into seltzer water. Yes, if you put pretty much anything into the water before you make it fizzy. You're gonna be sad. It's going to make a giant mess. Ask us how we know. <laughs> We've done it. Um, so the number one thing we do is pretty much every bottle. We make it fizzy and we put a few drops of the baby berry or daily minerals in there. And when you just put a few drops, you don't have to put a full serving. As a matter of fact, I would not put a full serving in. Just put a little squirt, a few drops in there. And now it makes it taste just like San Pellegrino. Mineral water. Yeah. Um, you can get these. We generally don't, but you can get them. These We'll use these up because they came with it. Um, when you start getting into some of this other stuff, it does make it more expensive. Yeah. With the price of soda now, it is cheaper. But in our experience, most of the sodas that actually come from Soda Stream. Don't taste the same. Yeah, they don't me. taste very good. Yeah. Um, with the exception of this, they've recently done this Starry Lemon Lime. It actually tastes really good. The Diet Pepsi actually does taste like Diet Pepsi, and the Pepsi One actually tastes like Pepsi One. So when we just want a treat of a soda, we'll use this. But. 99% of the time we're either drinking plain seltzer water or we're adding element into it now, or Redmond Relight. Now, you've seen how Joe adds the element or the Redmond Relight. It's Wanna like show? it is a race. So, it's a race with the cat because there is going to be a chemical reaction when you add this. So one. all of these products, they have your normal electrolytes. So you've got your you know, magnesium, you've got your potassium, you've got your sodium, and they also have calcium. Well, when you add this stuff to seltzer water, you get a fizzier reaction. That's why it's a little fizzy when you're drinking them. So what you have to do is you have to pour it in and, and then it, cap it. Boom. You can give it a little shake. Now you've got to let this sit for a couple of minutes the fizz will go down. If you want to speed it up, what you do is you just kind of slowly let the air out. So let it build up, let a little bit of air out, close it back up, and you can drink it that way. But so 99% of the time when we're using the soda stream machine, it's either regular fizzy water or water with an electrolyte in it. Yeah. But that's how you hack your soda stream. And once again, I would not recommend buying a soda stream to save money unless you hack it. If you're buying it for convenience, sure. If you're buying it to not buy plastic bottles or cans, love it. Then it's a good idea. But just understand if you aren't going to hack or modify your soda stream, it is absolutely not worth it. Uh, by the way, again, I will leave a link for everything that we used down below. Uh, if you're curious, depending on which soda stream machine you get, your bottle and then your hose, you're looking at about $250 upstart. So that's with this bottle. You it's mean. going, yes, with that. So it's, it's going to take you a little while to recoup your money, but 
how much is convenience worth? For us, it's super convenient to never have to worry about running out of sel uh, seltzer water. Yeah. So that is going to be how you hack a soda stream. And it's also going to be the end of this video. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we make a fizzy beverage, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time, bye.